I got a little light rain. Um, just to compare that to next rad, we can look here. But when I'm using the radar, I like to use the inset on the PFD uh, to see next rad. Uh, we got a better corroboration with the radar. In this particular installation, uh, the radar benefits uh, from being on the MFD. Uh, so there you see we've just come through uh, some light to moderate uh, rain on our way down from Martinsburg to um, Raleigh Durham Executive Tango Tango Alpha. Uh, this route is going to be uh, pretty clear uh, beyond that little bit we just came through and uh, uh, just a, a refresher on the radar we uh, turned the uh, little knob uh, to the weather radar page begin with the horizontal two and range out to perhaps yeah, 40 miles tower, uh, uh, tower, adjust the tilt so that the outer quadrant is painting mostly ground, like so. And then know that uh, the difference between ground and water is easily established by turning on the bearing pointer, hitting it, in this case, five left, because our actual track over the ground is five degrees left of, uh, of the nose of the aircraft. So since this bearing is relative to the nose of the aircraft, we set it five left. Uh, that puts the bearing pointer five left, of course. Tango we approach 930 Tango Alpha 12.8 to uh, one, three vertical thousand. profile. 930 Tango Alpha Potomac Approach 12.8 And then uh, three, zero, range one, in three. to three, get zero, more one, resolution three, nine, three, from the radar. Four. And you can see that we're in and around just some very light rain. And, it, and we know this because of the asymmetry in here, in here, top to bottom. That's it. Thanks for joining me today. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off it.